Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here. I have been looking at this tank in the corner of the living room for way too long and so I thought tonight would be the perfect time to just set it up and at least get it started. So here we have, what is this, like a one by one? And it's a cube, of course. We have some Monte Carlo tissue cultures that have been in the fridge for way too long. We already got this one open. The plants still look pretty good. I wanna get those used here. Um, and then, of course, we have some Dragonstone in here, which we can, I think what we can do is make a pretty cool sort of Iwagumi type style tank here. And, of course, use the Monte Carlo as the primary plant in the tank. We might add some other stuff, but we'll just kind of see where the scape takes us. I got a couple of Phoenix clip LEDs on here to help light the tank up. Monte Carlo isn't like the hardest carpeting plant to grow, but I'm thinking it might need a little bit more than just one of these guys. So we have, you know, the planted plus, and then we have a stingray here. I'm thinking about running two, but who knows? We'll kind of just have to see how things go. So let's go ahead and get this Dragonstone out of the tank. I'm gonna go wash it off. We'll pour in some substrate, and then we'll start scaping. All right guys, I'm gonna be using Fluval Stratum for the substrate, just some really easy stuff. This is actually out in a tank that was has been outside for a long time. I think it's still gonna work just fine, um, but I need to go back and forth and get a few more tubs of this, so let's just go ahead and dump this first one in here. I think we're gonna need a few of these because I wanna have a nice big hill in here. So this is all the substrate that I had out there in that other tank, guys, and it's a little bit less than what I wanted, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one big roundish piece of Dragonstone that I have that I don't really want to incorporate in the scape and use that as sort of like the hill. So I'm gonna push the substrate away and anchor this rock into place and then cover most of it up with the substrate. And I know that seems kind of like a waste of a rock, but I mean, this is a piece that I didn't really want to use anyway. I could have used like, you know, a bag of, if you guys don't want to waste a rock that you have, you can use a mesh bag filled with any type of inert gravel. That's another great way to create sort of like a, a substrate lift, if you will. I've done that in the past. I've showed you guys that. Uh, but today we're just going to be using this rock. And so from there, it's all just rock placement. So I'm going to go through a lot of these pieces of Dragonstone are really cool. They're sort of pointy on either end so I can, you know, angle them in certain ways to kind of give off this cool, again, like I said, Iwagumi style. I'm not following any rules here as far as number of stones and placement and things like that, but um, I'm just using that idea of escape as sort of a rough, uh, a rough draft for what I'm trying to do here. So I went back and forth with the rocks quite a bit, ended up pulling out what I had initially and you know, putting in the big rock that you see there. I pulled that out of my special collection in the back. Uh, but you know, I don't, I don't necessarily love it or anything like, you know, I don't really like the black substrate with the Dragonstone. And to be honest with you, I don't really even know if I'm setting up this scape to actually fill the tank up. You know, we'll kind of see how things go, but primarily, I just wanna get this Monte Carlo planted somewhere and, and at least get it grown out because I don't want it to die. So you'll notice that I even pulled out some spider wood to kind of mess around with how that might look in there. It, it ended up not looking very good, so we scrapped that. But now, let's just go ahead and quickly plant this tank and get it ready for an immersed setup because that's that's what we're gonna do here with the Monte Carlo and you know we'll have a few weeks to decide whether or not we want to keep this scape. We 
got pretty much everything planted in here except for these three chunks that I have left and I have an idea. See this shelf here on the main rock? How we have almost like a platform here. We have some grooves, you know, the dragonstone's really holy. Uh, what I wanna do is grab, if I can get my hand back here, I'm gonna grab some substrate out of the back corner and I'm gonna lay some of it in here. All right, and then we're gonna see if we can't get some Monte Carlo to grow up here on this ledge, and then it'll kind of grow laterally and then maybe even kind of turn down the rock a little bit as it begins to grow. Let's see if that, let's see if that works out. That could look pretty cool. I don't know how this last piece is gonna do that I put in, no substrate or anything there, but I mean, that's just part of the experiment, right? See what works, see what doesn't work. So all we need to do now is go ahead and cover this thing up with some saran wrap, just like we did with the 33 gallon bonsai tank when we set that one up and did that immerse setup. So same principle, same exact thing. And then we just have to sit back and watch the tank grow. For those of you that landed on this video thinking it was gonna be like a complete setup, uh, let me just go ahead and give you an idea just in case you know, you're looking to set up a smaller tank like this uh, of some other equipment that you would need once you fill it up. So for this tank, if I did decide to fill it up, I would run this little Azu HOB filter, just a little small guy there, it has a pre-filter and you know, just some really standard stuff. Um, but for the Monte Carlo, if I really wanted this tank to, to be really successful, I would run some CO2 as well. So I'd get a little paintball CO2 tank with an Aquatech regulator that you could put on there. I'll put links to everything in the description if you wanna check those out. Um, but beyond that, you know, you don't really need, um, I think we talked about lights. You know, the clip LEDs on this, you know, 12 gallon cube or whatever it is, 11.4 gallons, I can't remember. It's pretty much all you need, really simple stuff. And I think it's a really good starting tank for somebody who's getting in to keeping fish tanks. Before you have too many, you know, start with, start with something like this. While we wait for the Monte Carlo to fill in and carpet this tank, let me know if we should keep this thing around, guys. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think of the scape? Do you think it's, do you think it's worth keeping? I mean, at this point, like once everything fills in, it, it is gonna look a lot different, but I don't know, like at this point, do you think it's a keeper or do you think we should just harvest the plants out when the time comes and start over? You know, this cube tank is, cubes can be tough to, to aquascape, you know? You obviously have to go vertical with whatever you're using, but I don't know, you know, I, like I said before, I don't love it, I don't hate it, but you know, maybe it'll grow on me over the next few weeks while we let these plants grow. But be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of the scape. I mean, this could be like a really cool tank livestock wise, guys. Like there's a lot of different options that we could go with for this. We could do shrimp. We could, you know, we could do any kind of dwarf shrimp, any color that you want, right? We could do, we could throw some Amanos in there too to help with algae. We could, you know, we could do some German blue rams, a little breeding pair, and we could, you know, put a, put something in the back there to encourage breeding. That would be pretty cool. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Uh, we could do, you know, a ton of nano fish. We could do a bunch of galaxy rasboras, or, you know, we could even do like a cool guppy tank. You know, there's there's just there's a ton of different options out there. Um, you know, it, I, it's a really good size tank for a lot of different things. So if you want to keep the scape and you have some livestock suggestions, drop them down in the comments below. Uh, I always really like to see and to hear what you guys want to see me do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I think that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Leave the video a like if you like the scape. And as always guys, we will see you next time.